Good morning, folks. It's 1001 on the 16th day, 10th month, 2022. It's a oneness day. It's time for oneness to get its say on oneness day. What I'm looking at here is the combination and total fry up of Australia. You know, you guys are known for blowing a shrimp on your Barbie, but you'll pull the people in a microwave in a minute. Look at the microwaves here being used. Look at these paths of unnaturality, so to speak. The combination and the booming and the pluming is yielding ruinings uh, in the coming days. And you got the sickness mix deployed uh, directly off the coast of Newcastle here. Streaming this direction from waters to your skies coming this way. Streaming in the upper atmosphere. A different looking cloud than that one, isn't it? This one looks like it's going over the top. I'm well aware of military uh, exercises or whatever you call them on the weekends. Maybe your home guard, home defense, whatever you call it. We call it National Guard in the USA. Has having some kind of exercises. And they'll often say chaffs and this and that and simulated dog fights. Uh, <clears throat> what have they done in the sky? Is that a horrendous over here over a special purpose zone? And the special purpose today happens to be sickening. It's sickening. No, literally, this, this will sicken you. And it's sickening to see this unnatural skies. And it's a possibility of some of this mix I'm seeing here. It could be military exercises. And if they say that's just chaff, well, chaff is pollution. How dare the military pollute the lands with anything? And they'll have chemical coatings on them with special reflective properties. that are designed to do certain things. Of which are undisclosed to us. And the woolen gong is going to become the gong show that you can't even get the guy off the stage. You know, if this was the gong show, would you want it to continue? No, you would not. You remember that show, the gong show? They should bring that back. They would have, it's like a Britain's Got Talent where so you can hit a gong and they're gone. One guy just said, nah, you're out of here. And I remember that was a great show actually, the gong show. Yeah. We bring back the gong show for politicians, though. You can have a random gong day. We go, all right, which one of you clowns is getting a gong today? The weekly gong. So they'll act right. It's like they, they know when an election's coming, so they try to play nice and say the things you want to say. But there should be a gong show, the weekly gong. All right, who's gone? The gong show. The gong gong, maybe they would call it. A double look, you got the sickness mix again to, to precede your floods. I told you, they're going to have to lay the chem down today. See the boom, boom, boom formations? See the curve and the emanation point? Draw the lines. I don't think that's home plate. Hey, rounding the bends. Take me out to the cam game. You'll be playing ball and this shit's falling out on you. Streamer in this direction in the upper atmosphere. What a flaw is going this direction in the upper atmosphere. You'll see a lot of what we call the tsunami cloud. Hey, look, it's like a... It's a, it's a croc. Crikey. They made a crocodile. Ooh. You're fucked. Do, 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 do. My God, isn't that tremendous? Yeah, I'm sorry. I do love geosculpting. With the legs and... My gosh, what, will we give you a name? The coon crocodile. I'm going to have to name that something in a file. That's incredible. And hey, what was up naming things after coons? Do you guys have raccoons over there? Or did you have did you have some racist people naming towns? Or does that mean something different in indigenous? I'd love to know. Boom, boom, boom. You're fucked. I do not own the right to Steve Martin's King Tut, but I'm sure with his comedic on-the-go way of being that he would appreciate the fact that I'm going, you're fucked. Do, 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 do. All that's missing now is for him to play the banjo. Foggy Mountain Breakdown, Danny. <laughs> really, man. It'll be a foggy mountain fucking washout coming up. Soggy Mountain Washout. Compliments to the geoengineers. They're doing the square dance today. All the main left and the dough side dough. They want your dough and away your house goes. Wow, that's Shrimpzilla, man. 
I'll show you in my Imaginarium what that is, what I think that is. It's an incredible formation. It's only found in a couple places in the world. Mm -hmm. How you doing, New Zealand? Boom, boom, boom! With the plumes over the top of you guys. And I think you're getting a bit of a break today. And you should enjoy every bit of the outside fallout of drippy chemtrailiness. Really? Chemstra. Chemtro. 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 A great shot of Chemtro going out from Sydney Airport in this image. Here, you'll see it come out. Watch this. I want to roll this on fast. Chemtro. Happy New Year. Pew. And what I got this doing this for is because I want you to see this pulse wave that went over Rockhampton. Look, coming out. You had a heart blast. Came from your neck shred. Pow. It blew out the low deck. I do this to see the pattern. And I watch it repeatedly. You'll see a pattern. You'll see a pattern of nucleation. And it can't be the crazy plane flight. Right? Because I've been seeing that. That would be the low deck. They blew the low deck out. Pow. See the chem bomb go off here? Pow. That's to help what's coming. It helps nucleate these tops into predictable areas. I'm sh or unless there's a factory underneath every one of these things pulling a bunch of steam up. Moisture insertion. That's a whole nother part of water theft. Is moisture ejecting through cooling towers in factories. Surface air coolers. Uh, it's a very real way to get moisture in the air. You'd be wor I worked at a place that every day at 4.30 or 5 o'clock. But sometimes early. You would blow out the stack of steam. Because we were using steam in the... Uh, to make certain parts in a plastics place. Yeah, to make, help them bend. Uh-huh. Uh, you use steam in um, styrofoam molding machines as well. Uh-huh. Notice his effect. I didn't, I, always, I didn't mind working here because it was always warm. I had to put him in a kiln. Yep. Gam bombs. They're putting you in a kill. I mean kiln. Bzzz, getting fried, getting fried. Alice Springs style. That's the big reacher here. Look at the chem... Chemtrails here. Bzz, 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 boom, bzz, boom, boom, boom. You guys getting a, a bit of a day off. You're looking like uh, D Day for uh, the cunt in the Vic. Is, uh, I mean, Southern Australia is uh, 25 hours precisely, pretty much. I've nailed down. And um, you're, you're 2.5 2 days to D Day. In Queensland, and it is going to be a D day. We should call it G day because the geoengineers are coming. The land grab is on. The call is on. The sickification of the minds that think that this is a good thing to do is a bad thing to have around. The useless eater cures not for nature. Storms that are moving this direction should not go the other way. See, watch. I hold it. Boom, and it goes the other direction. This thing races along here. Watch. I'll slow this down. Slow down the geo to boom too fast. Now I'm back 10 minutes. Back 10 minutes. Back 10 minutes. Back 10 minutes. The creation of a boom boom plume storm of a line of storms that can then be manipulated. This is cloud creation. This is geoengineering. Anything you do to this cloud after that is seeding. I don't think you could call microwaves a seeding. That's energy inserted. There's like a smack in the face. Eh? Watch the boom. Boom. Coming from a center point. Boom. Rays pointing out of chem. In a center point right here. Pointing at it in that little line. Come look at this on set view. Do this yourself please. Confirm these results. Because only that is what matters. One, two, three. One, two, threes. One, two, three. Small, small units. Moving the wrong direction, moving this way while the flow is going this way. Right? We started over here. Boom, boom, boom. One shot out like a firework. Boom, boom, boom. Happy New Year. You know, when you get one, it goes in the air and shoots off three different shells. And each one of them explodes at a different time, precise timing that you could go along to music with, even. Fireworks have come a long way since lighting one with your cigar in the backyard. I'll tell you that. Or. Or your daddy out there with a sparkler in his hand and lighting them. Yep. They've come a long way. It's a long way till you shit your underwear. -y. Hey, you all quit panicking over a storm. Are you ready? Wait, you got potable water? You got your get the fuck out plan? You got a rope? You got ability to get out of a roof in case you that's where you're stupid enough to decide that's the it's safe harbor? 
and it's never a safe harbor to go in your row. I'll tell you that. You're better to kick out a window and hang on your window ledge so you could climb to the top of your roof. Okay? Don't go hanging out in the floodwaters that might have highly venomous snakes. Give you the Irwin. Highly venomous snakes will all be found in the waters of Queensland here. And well, we could go half English and we could palm it up. The pride of mother of my ass. You know what you call them palms? Because they look like a freaking pomegranate when they go on holiday. They burn themselves to a freaking quip. Hi, I'm from England. I'll be like, you're blood red like a lobster. No shit, you're from England. I can tell by your sandals and socks. Hey, what's up with that? You know, get it's because of the fungus here so bad. The fungus here. Nail fungus so goddamn bad even nail even fungus is scared to go. Yeah, it loves fungus, loves moisture, loves not drying out. How's your fun feet fungus starting to pop up yet? Chris Chris, checkerboard square. Hey Mikey, he likes it. It's wheat checks in your sky. No, it isn't. That's chemtrails, man. That's not even EMF. That's chemtrails drawn on different layers of the atmosphere. Because one's down low going this way, and one's coming over the top of it in this direction. There might even be another microwave bank underneath release something. Something in a delta formation over here. Something shot a chemtrail off over here. One, two, three, four, five, six booms over there. This is proof, Senator Roberts, of geoengineering. Why don't you use the right words next time you go after something? I've made myself available to you to talk. I will not fill out a job application to prove this. I, I offer my service to a royal deposition. I would give sworn testimony in any royal court. I could do that here from England. Okay? Know that. So quit asking me, people. I feel that uh, misleading is going in. Yep. One emanation point. How many plumes could you draw straight lines right to this spot? How many of these could you draw straight lines right to one spot? How many of these spots do you need to know have existed before you call a spot a stain? And this is the stain upon Mother Earth that is going on off Australia. Your forecast is a drag today, by the way, so I'm, I'm booming and pluming it. Look at the chemtrail coming over here. Look at that. That's a chemtrail. Come from Sydney Airport. On its way. Probably a crusty Atlantic. I mean, a Pacific. Next stop over here. You'll go over a few islands and then you got nothing till Hawaii. It's a great place to take out a compass and prove no known places on the map. Right? Uh-huh. Make your own map. See the combined combination of it all out here? Microwave action here, force and flows, chembom chemical catalysts in this guide up to help propagate the waveform or wick moisture into the atmosphere for the event that's coming along this line here today. You're getting some showers starting. This is D-Day. Okay, if this moment right here, you could etch this in stone. One o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. It's 26 hours from now. This is going on. It's going to pop up pretty suddenly. That's not really a huge event part. But when you're really going to start to see your heavy falls, is right around here. And then it's going to proceed very quickly in the, the Lando came of form. Esperance will cause this flow difference through heated outflows here, here, and here, as uh, witnessed uh, and evidenced right here by this heated outflow here. This is a geoengineering move that will create that flow that you will see here. That heat will stay in place from that microwave up to 48 hours, depending on on how hard it is been pushed on, and then it's coming over in a catastrophic manner. Uh, I don't like to keep using the word biblical because even God would have had mercy on Australia by now. This is man. The devil, the devil, the devil, the devil would do this. And the devil would say the devil made him do it. And these are going to be catastrophic falls of floods. Uh, what's going to hit uh, Melbourne coming is, is, uh, is uh, unnecessary, avoidable, because geoengineering is weather control. The, to control whether it does this or not is weather controlled. And now you have a full-fledged cyclone, but not the wind speed that's going to be um, of cyclone strength. Okay? You don't have that 60s. You're in, a, you're in a lower range. So don't panic on that. And I'm hearing panic about cyclone. 
you have a cyclonic flow of wind. A low pressure does this. Okay? and But it shouldn't be existing after it left the ocean waters like this. We call these Lando Canes in the United States because it's a hurricane looking storm forming over land and they can their winds can be intensified by the lower pressure here difference between a higher pressure somewhere else causing a flow in so the flow that will feed this storm the most will come from this direction right because the natural spin of the vortex pulling that toilet flush in and where this stops suddenly and turns is where the danger always happens this is where you pass the big storms come is at the turn. See the turn? These are where your storms are. This is where your high winds precede it and feed, and this is where the whammos. Is a mountain direction here also determining flow? Excuse me a minute. Sometimes accumulation gives me a better map. I don't know the lay of the land here. Outcroppings also play a valuable part in weather, uh, like that pyramid that's out. In Western Australia or wherever that place was that somebody sent me. They'll cause a lift. If you have a flat area, suddenly it lifts. You can cause a lenticular cloud to form over the top. Uh-huh. And those look like spaceships. I often do. Mount Fuji's famous for putting up the mushroom cap. Mm -hmm. And here's some heavy flows over three days. Then five. And a whammo. This is a whammo spot. This is not good. After what has just already fallen. It looks like a cat with its ass in here. Yeah, I'll be hissing at this too. It's my imaginary. I can say what I want. It's my imaginary. So where's all this water coming to? See, that's going down, down, down. It might have dispersed through this catchment area here first. The old iron knob. Okay, so this dilt all over. <laughs> How you looking over here? Oh, that's the knob. There you see it, folks. That's a knob. A hundred foot tall knob. A hundred meters. Well, I imagine the rain's coming down. This ain't going to do too good for your neighborhood, but it might make that air little thing there greener. Oh, they're the dicks. They're up to the dickens in the iron knob. You're actually, got to, you're actually catching a break. You're just going to get all the wind in the storm surge. It's over here that's fucked. Really, really fucked. You're so fucked. You're really, really fucked. Water doesn't suck how it's being used does. All right, what do we get here? 133, 13 centimeters plus rain over 10 days. Oh, my fucking God, double here he comes again. As they come and bomb the fucking skies. They kind of like it. I think they like it when we hurt. And there'll be lots of lightning over lightning rays as we get into the 20 centimeter range. Yeah, for 50 Whammo! That's a big fucking event. That's a big, big, big tendril of moisture being deliberately whipped down through Australia from the tropics. Big beam control that I showed you the other day has definitely altered the moisture. The big microwave blast here is pin this here, pin this here, pin this here. Pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. As evidenced in these fields of microwave energized atmosphere. Okay? Faster. Microwave clouds don't go nowhere. They just stay in the same spot. This is a heated outflow wall. Nothing can come here. All of it has to go to a predictable area. And when this cools down here, you're getting that. That's a corridor, man. That's an EMF corridor. So that you'll expect some action through here. That's an EMF corridor. Expect some action through here. There's an EMF corridor that's been created right through here. So expect some action through here. Um, EMF corridor is here. Yeah. Notice, I will read EMF. Microwaves boiling it all the way through to here. So your initial start will be here. And then the secondary wave will be allowed to come through. That's more of a boiler. It's a rotating a wave like this. You could just see it coming through the waveform. You'll see it if I speed it up. Look at the low deck. It's coming from here. And it's pushing a pulse out. Don't disregard these chem clouds. Just look at the boiler on the bottom. See it? You see the pattern yet of the waveform, like a fan of a curve, brushing the chem across in a predictable direction and help move this along without destroying the condensates, blowing them out too too small. So that's wanted to rain out in a certain area. Microwave heated outflow here as the stuff came in off the sea. It destroyed the moisture. 
Chem got inserted into it. The momentum of the flow continued. Plast is here. Boom, boom, boom. Shockwave percussion ring coming out from the sudden uh, high pressure, low pressure nucleation drop. Right? Patterns. I see patterns. It's been one of my great gifts and curses in life. See the pattern here? Rolls out, boom. Rolled out, boom. Rolling out, boom. Blow out the chem, boom. The wave comes through, blows it out, chem, boom. Nucleates the condensates that are now big enough to fall. Curtains of crap coming from the tropics. This is a huge rain of chem just going over to Carpentaria area. In Darwin, you got directly bombed. See it coming in in a swirl here? This is the moisture coming down to meet that cold air. This is the storm being made. I told you Papa was going to play a big part in it now they're doing their job. Here it comes. Swirling around. One vortex, two vortex, three vortex, four. Four deployment areas of aim. See it? See the pattern yet? Look at it. It's a pattern. Sprint. Nature is supposed to be a bit random. It's not supposed to be this geometric. With all this chem and this going this way, that's coming that way. This is going out and out and in. And well, circle gets a square. Bingo was its name. Oh, oh no, 43. Griffith. See the bombing? See the microwave frying going on? This isn't good for the people that live here. You won't feel very, very nice. Is there a lake here? They often interfere with EMF deployment. Got to be a lake. Water. Water has a say in things. I'll tell you that. See, there must be something here. Ponded up, pre-flooded area or a mountaintop. Changing the way the EMF is flowing. They'll call it a blind spot. So the microwave from that will hit from this direction. You can see the ray of some kind of microwave coming out here. Right here in a V. See it right here in the pattern? This is the heartbeat. You think that ain't interfering with the Schumann resonance of the localized area? You're fooling yourself. These are microwave clouds. Staying in place in one area, very predictably. And I read these things. Whoa, that was dizzy, huh? You see the pattern? No, you see what I'm talking about? Good. Let's go with the, uh, show you what the, the weather plan is for the next, uh, I'll show you through D-Day. And here comes the weather forecast. Uh, particle animation is in just to, just to add the drama to the race course as they go around the clubhouse turn and they make the bend. Then they drop the big chem bomb into the center, dropping the temperature of a storm. You ever spill lighter fluid on yourself like a gas one and it makes a cloud of like frost on your, on your clothes? That's just a butane release doing that. When it evaporates, imagine what else can do things. I, I try to wonder what's up there doing this. And well, that's a possibility. But would they set the sky on fire? I think they would if they, they'll sell it to you. Just, just to, it would sell the chemical or the, or the oil thing that did it. And as we get into Monday, hello, boom, 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 boom. Your D-Day has arrived. They've seen you in the NT and they've seen you in the, in the your old SA. Yo, SA, how's the NT doing? Hey, man, it's fucked. I got Vronis in place. And here comes the heavy falls. And then you've begun. As we hop along the week. You'll watch the lightning kick off when it gets to about here. When this comes over land, the electrical connection between land and land is stronger. As it is now, The while it touches the ocean, it doesn't trigger it as much. And then, then your flow comes in. And it's going to kick hard. Then it's full on... Control of this storm will be done with microwaves from localized Nexrad station and big heart blasts creating the outflows. A device here, a device here, one here, one here, and a psychotron CERN-like collider will also have a say in this event. When it has a say, it'll trigger a quake. Something small, 2.4, 2.6. And then it's D-Day. I have the lightning left. And I would at, and later today, I'm going to do one of these shows. I want you guys, the pictures to go up. And then I want the day to have gone by. And then I want to look at the day. I want to click various things and look at what's going on. Right? Because I think that's important. Now that's D-Day. 
you're there. You've had it happen, and it's a long sustained event when it happens. And the, the totals are going to be ungodly coming for uh, Melbourne. Yeah, they're coming. They're flooding all the creeks coming your way, and then it sits. And, it, and it just a steady, it ain't over. I'm telling you, you guys are getting it. You come about here, and you're finally done. This is a long sustained event. Uh-huh. I'm pointing at the 23rd. This hasn't stopped. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a day off. That's why I didn't tell you all the forecasts yesterday. I want you guys to be at ease a little bit, but this is coming. You have to be prepared. You're going to be socked in. And when the floodings are going around, you're going to be cut off. So you have to make decisions on where to ride it out. I say there is nowhere. You can't, unless you're right here already, you can't get there in time without putting yourself in grave danger or the life of a of a rescue worker or, a, or somebody who also cares about human life more than their own, somebody else's that would try to save you. What about your pets? Have you got them covered? Anybody ever thought about life jackets for dogs? I do. And as these storms come through, I'm going to turn that off. I don't want the lightning layers. It's just drama inducing. I'll just hit the heart. And at this point here, uh, your entire nation from Tasmania up to the tip is completely inundated. And one of the largest storm fronts I've ever seen in my life. And it's all man-made. It's all been not contrived. This is not fake weather. This is, it's very real what's going on. It's not man naturally occurring weather. This is all man-made and you're getting it all through the trough. Yep, this is coming. When you ask me what's the weather going to be like on the 25th, here's the 25th in Sydney, okay? You're fucked, okay? This could be there at any time. They've just recovered from a very serious event. You might want to reconsider your travel locations. Somebody else asked me what the weather was going to be like two weeks from now in Harvey Bay. You're getting wet, okay? I'm, I told you I'd answer your question on the next live video. Uh -huh. I don't get paid to give free war forecasts of where you're going. You could watch these things. But if you feel like uh, that was worthwhile to you, then good. I'm glad I helped. Higgins would have charged you 50 bucks to see that. He does. I want to see what kind of house he lives in off of just this year. He bought a new one with a subscription clickbait. He'll watch my forecast and then reiterate it himself and try like, let's see, what would he draw here? Huh? It looks like a bell end. Oh, there's a bell end in Mulaney. I'm, I'm very curious about this. Somebody's got money to send half your crew off to the United States to chase tornadoes for your clickbait rather than cover the most impacted storm that killed lives over here in Lismore? What a shame, huh? Feel like your money was well used? And thank you for your kind support. But, you know, people say, I deserve better in life. I deserve... You know, we don't deserve anything. It's the fact we think we deserve something is wrong. At least the disappointment. Life just is. It'll unfold. If this storm hung out for three hours... Here's four centimeters of water falling here. So Horsham, you are absolutely fucked. A hundred percent fucked. There is no doubt about it that you should be warned by now. That you will need to be making sandbags. You will be needing to direct water around your properties or whatever. Make a safe spot to stand. Make a safe spot for rescue workers to come and stand. And make sure you got a cup of tea for them. And they're working their asses off out there. Soggy feet and all. Give them some dry socks to them. Seriously. Think of these things. Think of others while the world's being smothered. We have to. We're being fried like fucking bugs, being sprayed with a sickness mix. The three-day and out move has occurred of the sickness mix. And uh, the forecast for uh, an asthma vaccine to accompany a chem bomb asthma, <coughs> I mean thunderstorm asthma, is in the cards. I see it in the newspapers. Okay, if I'm seeing it in the newspaper, then I see the reason to sell it go on. Those who create the illness sell the cure. Those who sell the fear, sell the solution. It's kind of like what the Joker said in a movie, but this is no joke. This is going on over your ocean right now. Going out to sea over those whales that might be showing up in a webcam. Maybe it was sending a message. He said there was some huge swells down here to look at. Yeah, so go have some fun with your surface. What's that, the scissors? They're scissoring in the sky, man. That's just something wrong about that. These are not naturally occurring cloud formations. This fallout is not a studied, um, whether it's toxic, is it mutagenic, is it harmful to any kind of pet? You know, A pet might eat a certain kind of leaf off one of your houseplants could die. What's in this stuff? 
We love our pets. And the sudden death of the animals walking through the floodwaters or what, a month or so afterwards as things have dried out and brewed whatever cocktail of molds and crabs and it's very sudden and it's very, very disheartening to me. That many, many animals around, around the Dubbo area and around here in the trough have been dying very suddenly just from their normal wantons of walking in the woods. Take the, you take the leash off and they go on their run. They come back covered in a wet mud sludge and God only knows what was in it. And the dog starts having nerve damage and dying. I've seen, had reports of this. This looks like a bridge. The Golden Gates to hell. Look what they've done to your skies. Look what they've done to our animals. Look what they're getting ready to do to you. Look what they're doing to you. And they're doing it and they're doing it and they do it so well. So as we get closer to this event, you, you've realized the fuck of it all the fuckicity of of the governing of our world by minds that are not empathetic is uh, is a crime in itself only humane beings i uh, should should i don't know we should be allowed to be that that's what i'm thinking you know, our humaneness should never be taken and quelled from us don't be a minute to find the words because what do you have when you got words like this when you got the microwaves around and they hide it. Let's see which view. I want an infrared plus. Give me the plus. Let's see if they're allowing you to see the beams. I'm already well aware of the big fryer they had on here to help create that. But that's a heart blast. That's a lot of squaring going on. Right? I want the weather radar. Give me it. Give me it. Give me Give me Give me Give me, give me, give me the radar at midnight. Look at the curve of this. That's frying. I see that straight off the lightning blast. Lightning blast. Lightning blast. For your ass. Where is Yass? How is Yass doing today? I'll get down that way. Oh, big microwaves down up here outside. Rock hands. Getting fried. Getting fried by the alpha. The alpha fryer. The fryer's on. And you never get offered a bucket of chicken off of this one, do you? And that emerald there is not says such a gleaming gemstone in the eye of the planet, I don't think. So here it's going to, they're actually going to flood their own self this week. Yeah, this week they're going to get it here. It's almost a oneness, really. Nobody's even took one picture from a perspective of a golf club getting ready to tee off on one of those, right? I, I just want that, 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 that image. I've been wanting him for a long time. Never anybody around to take the picture for me. Really. Yamala. The Malakas. Look at the beam. Bzzz, coming out. There's a beam coming out right through it. Right through the storm. Fueling it. Move it along. Camp on the edge. Camp on the edge. Camp on the edge. Boom, boom, boom. Have it, ya poon. Your bunch of poon tangs. Your poon tangs. Yeah. Wham, bam. Boom, poon tangs. Yeah. Oh, Theodore, you got a spinner, man. If you're in a path of this one, watch out. That's a definite, definite hook trail here coming off. It's spinning right here off the back edge. That line here. When these two meet, that's all going to circulate into this one. It's going to get nasty. That's a nasty cell. Nasty cell. So that's one to, uh, to bear watching. Theodore, it's headed your way. You have about to get a bit of fuckery. Or you just did. No, it's a continual sustainment right over the nexus of a creek. Nexus Creek. Nexus Creek. Land Grab Creek. It's a land grab, man. Hello, Dawson Folk Museum. Get your stuff up in the air. Please protect our heritage that we're not allowed to have anymore at seas when they took two Christmases away. But Byron was celebrated. But well, they just got lucky it wasn't during lockdown. Believe me, there was no Byron over in Turkey for two years, man. Everybody, that's when they shut you down, forced you to buy stuff online and have it delivered. Right, who made money off that? A bankrupt Amazon. They went for four billion in a hole to four billion in a plus, wasn't it? Yeah, that dude did good. Bezos, he was able to buy a big dildo and fire it in the sky and sit inside it. Whew, what a bunch of waste of money that could have helped the people that he got money off of. What a bunch of cocks. Look at this big dick over fucking Fraser Island, fucking my whales. That's a microwave blast offshore. Right here. Boop, boop. I must have a notification. Hi, you haven't bought anything in ages. Is something wrong? Right? That's what they'll tell you. You have a very low social credit card because you're not spending money. 
We'll give you extra social credit if you buy this. Hey, Gimpy, your pyramid's having its effect. It always does. That was quite a squall that came through. You're going to have quite a lashing along this river. Quite a lashing coming for you. Yep. You're, you're probably looking at three, three and a half days. Maybe if you're lucky. Hey, Dalby, you two, you were one of those locations. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're railroad switching spot. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a great place for a relocation camp. I mean, for a smart city. As they build new cities in places. This country is ripe to have new cities made in it. You can relocate a lot of people in the world here. Totally change Australia forever. You guys better get comfortable with the, what, what we call this, uh, integration of the rest of the world. You're about to get very uh, metropolitan in, in rural areas. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's part of the agenda of relocations. Why? Because every one of them people that comes in here and gets a living, um, allowed to live number, gets a loan from the IMF in their name that the government could squander. Squandering, squandering your future. How dare you? How dare you do this? How dare you do that? Don't do this. Don't do this. Do as we say. Don't do as we do. We want to fry you and take your land whether you like it or not. We want to get you to say something is cloud seeding and challenge the government when it's clear you have to make geoengineering first and that argument is going to fail. Well, Senator, uh, my offer is always there to help, but I will not do this on your terms. You will go through my information and use it. You want a sworn deposition, I'll be happy to sit in a courtroom. They can have a guy come cross-examine me. I'll own you. And then whoever did this one here and slandered me while done leaves them wide open for a lawsuit. What you guys did to me in February, April, and March, nobody should ever be subjected to. And it's continuing. It's ongoing. Even now. I get up every morning, and I worry. And I go, oh, my God, Julia Creek, you got a bunch of water, but at least you're going to have a little clear. But I'm very worried for this. Yeah, these, these, these strands of hairs here. This is going to go wide. It's going to go very wide coming up. Why do I say that? Because I've, I've, I know your accumulations. I know what the, they're making a Lando King right over the top of you, man. This is what they say. This is what they say. Right? Add that in with that. That's a very accurate for the top. Actually, when you add that into it. So you have an inundation area of ungodliness that's going to be very pinpointed on key locations where uh, new cities and distribution hubs were proposed and then adamantly fought by uh, local people who want the quaintness in the histories of the area to stay the same. People like Maryborough who love the quaintness. It's an old western looking town. Like out west with the way the buildings are when you walk down the main street. Because yeah, I've been here. It's beautiful actually. I got a t-shirt, sweatshirt from there because I was cold. See? A lot of the towns could be affected all at once. So we look where the bends are. Where is it going to fill up? And you're getting a lot. There's not a little bit of rain. And it isn't nothing to something. Okay, that's what we worry about. I do. I always get concerned when I see a sudden flash up. That's where you get the big damage. Because the little rain's already got your, your creeks a bit swollen. Some of them are up to the brims. The, the levees have taken more than they were designed to do. Too many times in a row. Always after big events, there, there used to be time to reinforce levies and fix the things that we knew were going to be problems. Well, it seems the governance of Australia is known about problems with dams and waterways and movings of things for since 2019, at least, when a lot of the studies on the dams were done and completed after the 2017 flooding events. Yeah, which I gave warning to that too over for Northern Rivers. And I went, I went through there afterwards. I was, it's still very heartbreaking to think about. It's going on still. And miles after miles of roads are going to be covered with furniture. Uh, people's houses that will get so infested with moles if they don't get rid of them, they get sick. And that the tent cities will actually be in the people's houses because they got nowhere to go. So they'll be living in their houses in tents. Yeah, that's what happened throughout the Northern Rivers area. And you, I, was, I called it the biggest tent city in the world that goes unseen. Well, you're about to have that happen again. This will become one of the biggest tent cities in the world in a few of these areas. Because people don't want to leave. 
You shouldn't be forced to give up your home because some geoengineering philanthropist wants smart city because it sells more of his phones and computers. And somebody wants this, a dumbed down people don't realize how bad you're getting fucked right now. When you drop the soap, you don't come stand up clean, that's for sure. And well, this is ruining everybody's dreams. And that was outside of Auckland, New Zealand. And such as I look at the square and it's these eddies, I realize there's something. If some people's heads like Eddie Spaghetti. I don't know. I, I can't even rhyme anymore about this. This is just so criminal. So I've given you your forecast. I've showed you the amounts. I showed you the microwaves. I showed you the sickness mix. I showed you the worldview of it all. And it's up to you to decide how you want to react. When you've got a storm that's supposed to be a circulation, that has circulation, 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 circulation in it, fuckery is afoot. And fuckery is afoot that turns, puts a boot on. And what do a boot do? A boot doesn't do a boot to. A boot goes down your neck. It chokes out the world. And I'm watching a planet choked. I'm watching it, planet, absolutely choked. There's no deep blue marble anymore. It's all a toxified haze of glared out man-made pollution put there by philanthropists who want to block the sun as a goal. Well, they could steal my hope. They could steal my dreams. But I will never let them steal my starshine. Don't let them steal yours either. Big love. Peace.